So hey everyone, time for Geocache Talk. Whether you're at work, in the car, or wherever you are, we hope you enjoy the show. Please give it a like and subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher so you can get all the weekly Geocache Talk goodness. Big thanks to the Travel Bugs for the music and my patrons Doug Jones, Joshua and Caleb Slinkard, Tom Brotherman, and Jeff Arbaugh. If you'd like to become a patron, head on over to patreon.com slash geocache talk for more details. Uh, patrons get path tags, coins, and other geocaching swag during the year, as well as invites to special events only for patrons. In fact, we are about to schedule our first patron-only show very soon. Also, the path tags should arrive around August 19th. Yay! Support levels start at $3 a month. Uh, tonight we're going to have news from Mission GC, our weekly product tip, uh, if we have time for it, and some geocaching videos that we're going to watch. Uh, so let's jump right into show number nine for Sunday, August 7th, as I welcome Geocaching Katie. Welcome to Geocache Hi. Talk. Yay! Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, you bet. Uh, so I'm, I'm so glad we were able to work this out, and because uh, um, just to let everybody know, we... Uh, Katie and I kind of talked about this uh, a few times the, uh, earlier before the summer started, and we kind of, I kind of picked a day, sort of, and <laughs> Katie's like, I'm not going to be around that time. I'm going to be in Hawaii. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's in Hawaii. So <laughs> that's awesome. That worked out great. So it yeah. worked out. So you're back, and we're going to talk a little bit about that uh, here in a yes. minute. but. Let's talk a little bit about um, geocaching news. Geocaching news is sponsored by FTF Magazine. Uh, FTF Magazine can be found at ftfgeocacher.com. And first note is uh, about Mission GC. If you're a premium, uh, if, yeah, if you're a premium member, you have gotten the um, assignment for Mission GC number two, which will be next weekend, and hopefully you finished the maze that came out. Um, but uh, Mission GC was uh, number one was kind of fun. Did you did you do mission num uh, mission number one, Katie? Um, I didn't get a chance. I'm terrible at them. <laughs> okay, um, I did do that one. It was a ten. It was wanted you to do ten favorite points, so I did that one. The next one will be coming out uh you know this this uh weekend so you know it's it's kind of fun and the um the other item that's uh, i think interesting is that uh or at least what i did last uh month was to send in a video i'm not really good at these things i'm trying um but something we'll talk about tonight is uh katie's or uh, her videos are incredible so um we're going to talk about uh, her videos Sorry, Katie, you're in the spotlight tonight. So. Oh, God. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, but if you happen to do the cashadvance.com uh, challenges, uh, the August challenge is to film, or I think you can send in a photo to, to, to Joshua uh, Johnson, the geocaching vlogger. But if you do a video, uh, you'll s send it in, uh, and it's related to uh, completing one of the Mission GC uh, challenges so that's kind of interesting um i know now you've done some of the challenges in, in the past um i have yes <laughs> i um what are i'm trying to think I, I watched one of yours not that long ago actually susan uh slinky mama the wife she watched uh one of your videos um completing one of the challenges and so I told her, I said, oh, she's going to be on the show. So uh, <laughs> kind of fun, something different. I know. Um, yeah. Do you, uh, I, most of your videos, I think, are not all of them, but a, a lot of them, I think, are related to travel, wouldn't you say? Or Yeah. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> okay. Um, because you've gone to some incredible places already, uh, and we'll talk about some of those in a minute. So anyway. Well, that's uh, the news for this week. So we're going to talk to Katie uh, about first, how did you learn about geocaching? 
Um, that's, so um, my dad is in the military and he got a um, like a really old Garmin and yeah. he was about to um, he was about to go to Iraq and he needed to test it out. And so he found geocaching online. Oh, cool. And so our family trip, we went to Florida to the beach right. and mm -hmm. um, and that was how he tested out his GPS. And that's the oh. first time. And that was around 2007. Oh, OK. Yeah. Cool. And then I didn't get my own account until like 2009. Oh, okay. So there was a huge gap where I didn't really do any of it because my dad was gone. So. Oh, OK. Yeah. But you were but you were interested after uh, after uh, learning about it early on. You just. Yeah, definitely. And that was when we had like papers and we had to like code it, like print it everything out and like had a huge binder yes. full of just everything geocaching. <laughs> it was like the old classic yes. way. <laughs> Yes. No phones. We used to do that. Uh, and if we got six or seven in a day, we we're like, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. We, got, we, yeah. We, we had a great day, you know. Uh, I think we got three that whole trip. <laughs> right. But you're like, this is, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. We yeah. Uh, we used to print them out and Susan would make little notes on them. So, because you couldn't mm -hmm. log them until you got home typically. Right. So, so you got to remember what you thought right. about them. <laughs> Was that a DNF or was that not, was that one we found? Was that not? Yeah. You know, what do the notes say? So she was really good at taking notes. Yeah. So, so that helped. So um, do you do you kind of remember your first geocache other than you found it or was I, it something? I think you... it was at a baseball field on the mm -hmm. scoreboard, I think. Okay. And but, that, that same trip, we also got stuck in the sand oh geocaching. My. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> the places geocaching takes you, so... Um, yeah. so, uh, that now, of course that one wasn't on your own account. Do you, right. Was your first one on your own account fairly memorable or was it sort of, um, I think that one was in a cemetery. Okay. And, um, cause I remember I was with one of my friends and we were bored and okay. so we just were like, let's go find a geocache. And it was the closest one to my house. Oh, okay. So I love it. Yeah. Uh, so that's neat. So, um, <laughs> you know, some days it just, you know, my son who rarely geocaches, but he does. Yeah. Some, uh, yeah. He gets to that point where he's like, let's just go geocache. Let's just get out and do <laughs> something. So I guess uh, nowadays some people, they get bored. I guess they do Pokemon Go, but. It's oh not, yeah! Oh man! <laughs> it's not as not as exciting because you don't find anything. But I know that people. Right. Are, I'm not against it. I'm just saying, for me personally. Yeah. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I haven't gotten. I haven't got into it, but. Uh, but I'm glad. It's a good are, way to tell people about geocaching, though. It is. It is. It ties right yeah. in. So augmented reality. Well, no, it's still you know. It's still fun. It gets people outside. Yeah. You know, and we're going to talk. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yes. And we're going to talk tonight about uh, not only um, your YouTube channel, we'll talk a little bit about fitness as well, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yes. <laughs> so when you, uh, I kind of know this because I've seen your videos, but I'm going to ask because maybe, you know, some people don't know. Uh -huh. uh, just starting to, to learn about your, your, your channel. But uh, who do you usually go geocaching with? Um, usually it's with my family, um, my mom, dad, mm -hmm. um, and then, and then I have some really close friends that I've introduced geocaching to, and now they kind of do it on their own as well. So oh, great. mainly just family and friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, I enjoy the videos. I enjoy watching your mom geocache. <laughs> She's fun. <laughs> That's so much fun. And you did a video recently in your grandmother geocached. Yes, she did. I think that was the first time she ever did it. Okay. That was a hoot, as we say down here in Texas. <laughs> yeah. It was a hoot. I love that video because yeah. you had to get off the trail a little bit. Well, there wasn't really a oh, trail. Yeah. There wasn't really a trail per se, kind of, I guess. Right. It. I think they just didn't want people to go out into right. the desert. and. <laughs> right drive around Get, on it or something yeah you know. but uh yeah that was that was fun watching her she was very concerned about the rattlesnakes <laughs> yeah she was yeah and uh you, you you did the you did the thing i've seen um with um 
uh, Geo Pat down in Florida, where he'll do a video. He used to do a lot of used to do videos a lot. But, uh-huh. uh, so Geo Pat, if you're listening, you need to do some more videos, man. That those were awesome. Yeah, <laughs> do them. <laughs> I know. I love Geo Pat. I got. I'm gonna hit him up on email and tell him, come on, dude, get back out there and do them because we love him. But he would he'd do the whole. He'd stand behind the geocache and he'd point to the geocache, the person he'd <laughs> yeah. look in. You know, so your grandmother's looking and you're over here pointing. Over yeah, here. it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more than one stump. <laughs> yes, there's more than one stump, but she found it. Yeah, she so, did. She did. <laughs> very cute. But uh, out in uh, south of Las Vegas. So. Yeah, so hot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I liked how you showed the, the temperature on your phone and everything. Yeah. Whew. Yes. <laughs> um, well, this is kind of a definitely a, a lo- long answer, I'm sure, to this question, but this is really uh, uh, something I think that's really been key, I think, for you is where has geocaching geocaching taken you? So talk a little bit about places you've been geocaching. Um, well, when I was in college, I just graduated, but um, I studied abroad. <laughs> Yay, I graduated. <laughs> um, I studied abroad twice and um, both times I like made it my goal to like get out and and just find different because when you're in a, a new city, it's really touristy and sometimes you miss like small, really cool things. And I think geocaching kind of gets you off the beaten path and you see some pretty cool stuff. Right. Yes. There's, yeah. Yeah. That's so, uh, that's so um, true. When I was in France, I did one and I had to like go on this trail and I was like running by myself. I didn't know where I was, but um, it was really cool. It not just, I would have never found it if I hadn't not, had geocaching. Not safe, Katie. You shouldn't be out there doing that. You know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, France. Now, talk a little bit about your time going to France because there's some cool videos you did over there. Uh, well, I actually, um, I was taking a social media class and it was part of my class was to, um, well, I, I kind of made it part of my class, but to update my YouTube channel. And then also I had a blog along with it that I wrote just a few. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so I had every week I had to go out and do something and put it on my channel. So I kind of right. made it my class assignment. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's a good idea yeah. to do, you know? So, um, um, so a question came up uh, in the the Q and A from Dano. Hey, hey Dano. <laughs> uh, he asks, uh, when you vlog, do you find it first and then find then film finding it, or do you film the first attempt? Um, I usually. Uh, will record the whole time like when I'm walking up to it but sometimes I will see it before I turn my camera on and so I just kind of record it as I'm going to it but a lot of times it's the first I always have my camera on so okay. it's like my first reaction to it well that's cool yeah yeah and then just edit later um, what um, I'm jumping ahead a little bit to the vlog but what do you use for for the editing portion of your um i use final cut pro okay yeah and it's what we that's what i learned in school so okay. i'm kind of stuck on that one <laughs> yes well they come out wonderful and something we talked Thank about you. Be- before the show uh is something that um josh and i were talking um i don't know if we were we, i think we were talking about this at geo woodstock uh but um he um uh, he was asking like who are you having on and i said well, I'm having geocaching Katie on in August. And he goes, Oh, he said, her videos are the best edited geocaching videos out there. And I was like, wow. That's oh cool. my gosh. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> I know. He was, but I was like, wow. I was like, and I thought about it. I said, you know what? She does. You have some of the best videos, uh, you know, that are, uh, you know, as far as editing, well, you go to some great places too. You really do. And I really, yeah, they, sometimes the location really makes <laughs> them look a lot cooler than I really make them. <laughs> oh no, that, but, uh, no, you, and it's fun. It, it's, um, here I am. I'm going to, I'm going to make you blush a little bit more because it's fun. 
um, when you have people, and there's a lot of, there's some really cool uh, geocaching vlogging going on nowadays. Oh, yeah, definitely. But it is fun when you or uh, do, some of the different people do their videos and just, just um, they don't overact, I guess you could say, or don't over, they're not real stiff and try to do some sort of presentation type thing. It's just yeah. from the, it's more from the heart and it's more just the fun kind of thing of doing the video. Yeah. It's, it's all about the fun. <laughs> it is. And, uh, so yeah. And so you do wonderful on the, on the editing. So Thank you. Anyway. Um, so what do you like most about geocaching? Um, I think, I think it's the, Oh, this is always such a hard question for me. Um, mm -hmm. I really like, uh, like I used to go on hikes and stuff and I just kind of like go along the trail or something, but I think geocaching gives me like little checkpoints along the way and it just makes it so fun. And I really do like the toys and the geocaches. Those are fun. Yes. It, you know, it's fun to see what, it, it, when, when they're good, uh, unfortunately yeah. sometimes it's, they're disappointing, but but yeah, yeah. it's kind of neat to see what people uh, are, are leaving. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little kid at heart. <laughs> well, you've got you've got the one that just uh, uh, and I think we're gonna uh, I think we're gonna watch some of it here in a little bit. But um, we well, found the glasses and you found yeah the, and the uh, phone <laughs> the phone yeah hello oh no, yeah. fake phone so it's very funny yeah. So yeah, you never yeah. know what you're going to get in those. <laughs> oh, I, that is so true. Um, all right. Some more Q and a, and then we'll jump back. Uh, Deborah okay. Burris, uh, doc firewoman, um, geocache, geocache talks own as she's been on the show before. She says, love watching her videos and other vloggers. So I can maybe do a little bit better on my periscopes. So, cause Deborah does some periscopes once in a while. So she says she, you're te you're, you're now an educator of the, <laughs> the geocaching. So, She's learning from you how to do, to do better at her uh, uh, periscopes, which is periscopes. Kind of, I wish I hey periscopes. I don't understand that at all. Like I've tried to get on it. It's hard to use. <laughs> well, that'd be cool though. You have to if you do periscope. That'll be that'll be fun to see sometime. Uh, yeah, I know. The the thing is uh, for me is like if I'm going to do a periscope, uh, it's usually spur of the moment. I usually only have my phone with me, so I'm trying to periscope mm -hmm. and I can't find the cache. Yeah, it's hard. To oh yeah, you got to switch back and forth. Yeah, it's hard to interact sometimes with with the phone. Yeah. So, uh, then um, another question coming from uh, Valena Meyer, who's a Butterfly Girl, and um, she's going to be on our show in a f in a few weeks. Uh, oh yay! <laughs> yes about her trip, her mega trip and uh, mega, mega geo trip. But she asks what you're using to record uh, the vlog. Um, I use my Canon. It's a, I think it's a G seven X. It's a little point and shoot camera. I wish I had it with me. Oh, okay. Um, just That's real cool. tiny and portable. Okay. Now, yeah. How did you do the underwater shots in Hawaii? Um, well, okay, so I borrowed my dad's GoPro for that, for okay. the underwater shots, yeah. Okay, cool. Because I was wondering, so, um, yeah, how you, you know, if you bought one for that or how you how you pulled that off, but that's that's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about fitness and fitness, fitness, and <laughs> how you have tied. How have you tied it into geocaching? What are some things you have done uh, to tie, tie that in? Um, I think I've hiked a lot more since I started geocaching because okay. a lot of times there's trails that have them all along. And normally I wouldn't go and do like full, like eight mile trails. But right. if you want to get all the geocaches, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're out there actually geocaching, you don't realize how far you've walked. Like right for me personally yeah yeah that's very cool and you yeah so and you've, hiking and for sure hiking spelunking yeah you've, you've spelunked Spel recently <laughs> oh yeah that was <laughs> i don't know I'll, i might need to take a break from one of those <laughs> for a little bit that was scary yeah and it was funny because your friend was like i don't think this is the thing to do 
Yeah, I had to cut a lot of things out. There are a lot of words that I did not want to put in my videos. <laughs> Make an explicit rating. But, yeah, I uh, try to keep it PG. <laughs> yes, but uh, on that one, you did get the, there was light at the end of that tunnel. Yes, there was light at the end of the tunnel, but it was about two feet high. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, you know, and then your friend did come along uh, through. She the did. Place. She did. Now, did did y'all have to go back the same way you came? To yes, that? we did. Oh, we okay. had to go right back through. So right. she was hating me the whole way. <laughs> right. I'm. She's like, I am out. No more geocaching. I am <laughs> no done. More. But uh, but you found the cache. That was that yeah. Was really really. That was a fun one. So yeah, um, and then um, bicycle cycling. Yes, I love I love to bicycle. I have problems with flat tires because I don't know how to fix bikes. But um, I like you can go a lot further on them. So that's a pretty cool aspect of it. Right. So okay. So um, now, do you do because you own a few geocaches, right? Uh, yeah, just I think two. I own okay. two geocaches. Now they're close enough that you can you bike out to those two or yeah, okay. yeah. Well, actually, just one of them. The other ones I have to drive to. The one with the blueberries is too yes. way too far away. <laughs> blackberries, blackberries, Black, blackberries, which is an awesome video. Everybody's got. <laughs> everybody has to check that one out, and uh, because again, it's so real. Um, and I think that's that's good that you did that i mean I, I because we've we joked about this before you and i talked about this on on yeah. twitter actually uh is that you went out there to maintenance as a good cash owner you went out to do maintenance and you get out there and you're, you're looking around there's no blackberries you got your camera out you know and you're like there's normally blackberries here <laughs> i promise <laughs> i promise they're here but not right now so, so. yeah that was that was fun but uh so yeah so um so people that love to do a bicycle or cycling i mean i i think it's key <clears throat> as we try to grow the sport of geocaching when we talk to people and we and they're like eh, i don't know about geocaching i go well, what, what do you what do you do right now and they go well like in this case they go well i ride a bike ride a bike out and geocache right yeah perfect i know uh, it really is perfect and it, it's fun it adds excitement to the bike ride yeah because if you're if people don't like the uh i know a friend of mine who does bicycle you know cycling and um mm -hmm. he seems to though get like you said he'll get bored with it but if you have somewhere to go and something to do right yeah and then um another one we we were put our notes was about running so do you do some running and uh, yes um well not as much as i did but i think i'm going to start doing it more um i would like pick a geocache and like run to it or like in a park or something now do you try to now do you run do you run often or do you um well when i was in i ran for the um right. my it's college's football. cross country and track team so right. I did run all the time, but now I've kind of <laughs> I got a little burned out from that, so right. I'm taking a little bit of a break. <laughs> Which now, see, so now you can sort of I wouldn't say that that wasn't fun. I'm sure it was great fun. Yeah, it was running, fun sometimes. <laughs> right, but you were running as part of a team. Now, see, right now that you're about to head off to graduate school, mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to need to get out and do some running. Yeah, I can uh, incorporate geocaching more. <laughs> right, you can get back into to now. Is the um, the place where you're going to be um, going to graduate school? Is it uh, is it fair? You said near Atlanta, so it's in, it is urban. Yeah, it's going to be like right smack in okay. the middle of Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, so. so you should have plenty of opportunities. It's going to be pretty urban. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at least at that point, though, you, you can probably find a lot of geocaches and run to a lot of them. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So that's, you know, a good way to, um, you know, in incorporate yeah. the fitness you want to do. So. All right. So here's some more Q&A. Uh, Dano says, um, to avoid flat tires, get continental gator skins. 
<laughs> okay. Or, or Schwab, and Dana, I hope I pronounced that right, Schwab Marathon Tires, and use Mr. Tuffy's liners, haven't had a flat in eight years. Wow. I'll um, have to tell my dad to do that. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. There's some cool stuff there. Well, um, thank you. <laughs> that's cool. And then um, Butterfly Girl says, um, I wish I could find a nice folding bike to keep in my car. That's a cool Oh, idea. yeah, that would be cool. Because um, then if you ever have one and you get, a like, a notification – and there's a, a newly published geocache. You can hop on your bike, and you could be the first one there. Right. That's very cool. Um, so that's a cool idea. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Deborah chimes in. I think this is funny. Uh, her comment is, horses don't get flat tires. Well, come on, Deborah. I mean, you telling me that the horse doesn't throw a shoe once in a while? Come on. <laughs> There's other problems, but that's a whole other. We we did a whole show on uh, horseback riding, so uh, which is fun. Uh, that's a way to, of course. That's another way of fitness. Yeah, it is. Get on the back of a horse, because that's. Uh, There's actually a horseback riding trail in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Oh, oh okay. With geocaches along it. Okay. Which I wouldn't know how you would get those <laughs> without stopping every. I guess you'd have to stop and get off the horse. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be good about getting on and off. Um, I yeah, know, I know something that, um, that that Deborah mentioned before is she found where people had done um, geocaching set up for on the horse trail, and they put them at a level where you could just come up get up to them and get them without getting oh the maybe that's how it is I, I still need to check it out yeah it's kind of a cool idea to put them up a little yeah. bit so to help out the the the, the riders but uh, yeah that would be cool and then another uh fitness item uh, that i put in here that we were talking about is swimming and kayaking yes <laughs> okay so have you done much of that or um, I know that there's, um, I forget what park it was in Georgia, but we took, it wasn't a kayak. It was one of those paddle boats okay. where you had to, it's like a bike. And I did it with my dad and there was a little island and you had to paddle to the island. And we, we thought it was a lot shorter than it really was right. to get out there. I think, is that the one that's like really, really old? It's like a, a year 2000 geocache, I think. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Um, but see, that's a cool thing to, to include. You know, um, it's a neat idea to you know, incorporate. Now, have you done any other? Uh, have you ever swum? Swam? You ever swam? swam. You ever <laughs> um, no, I don't think I have. I don't, if I, no, I don't think I have. Okay. That would now, be cool, though. All the ones in Hawaii, you were just, uh, Swimming was just to take a break. From yeah, we, we were just, well, I guess the the Hanama Bay Earth Cache, there wasn't actually a geocache, but I mean, it was the Earth Cache. We had to answer some questions, so right. we did some swimming there. Right. You were there. Yeah, we took a, bathing, a picture. <laughs> you had a bathing suit on. It's time to get in the water. So there you go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Earth Cache. Well, that's very cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so Deborah says um, that she carries hoof boots. So I have trouble with the uh, read about oh. that one. Oh, she, uh, she says she read about that one you're talking about, uh, and they're high enough up you can reach them from horseback. Oh, okay. Oh so, yeah, so that's. I really cool. need to do that now. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so. What are you, okay, when you're not geocaching, what are you doing? Um, probably Other than school. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and running. That took up a lot of my time. Okay. Just you know. like going to meets and, mm -hmm. but now to. I don't really know because I'm moving soon, so who knows what I'm going to be doing. No, that's exciting. Well, other than yeah. studying, you get to study. Uh, yeah, you can get out geocache and, uh, and yeah. like you said, if you 
you're a runner. That's your, you know, so you'll, you'll, you'll get out and run. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, we're going to uh, talk about the YouTube channel. So I put in the show notes a link to it. And I also put a link to some of the, the um, for those that are audio right now, uh, I did put links in the show notes. I always put the links in the show notes of, of uh, things that I want uh, that we talk about on the show. So I got a link to your, your channel, and I've got a link to some videos. And we're going to actually um, talk through uh, a couple of videos here in a minute. But first, just talk about the channel. Why did you start? Because you used to blog. Yes. But you don't really blog much anymore with a B. No, not at all. Okay. So now you're into vlogs, which are great. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you get started doing that? Um, well, this is kind of funny, but um, so um, my degree was in integrated media. So a lot of my classes kind of go along with YouTube and videos and stuff. And I had an entire class was um, around making a YouTube channel and we had to upload a video every week and we had to get 100 subscribers by the end of the semester. That was our assignment. And Very so cool. that's kind of how we st I started it. Um, and I've always wanted, I, I had a YouTube channel a long time ago and I deleted it, but um, uh, I just love it so much that I just kept doing it. So that's kind of how it started. Okay. Well, very cool. Yeah. Did you did you did you get an A in that class? I did. Oh, yeah. good. Good. Good job. And then, did how many how many subscribers did you keep track of? How many you had before the was that um, the one you did for the class? Was that the your current channel or this is the, yes. the one that you? Yes, okay, it's it the current okay. channel. Yeah. So, um, what did you end up? Um, did you, do you remember what you ended up with at the end of the class or? I think I barely, it was like 110 or something. Okay. I don't know, but I, I remember that I was just happy. I hit that and I was like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I don't know if you've looked of, of late, but you have over 500 subscribers. Yeah. That's amazing. I just like, thank y'all for watching so much. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and you have over 34,000 views. So. Yeah, I can't believe I can't believe that. That is awesome. Uh, we're going to get that number up uh, as time goes on because uh, I've enjoyed them, and I know a lot of people have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I know they get a little silly sometimes. Hey, that's the that's the fun part of it, you know. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to so we're gonna I'm gonna bring up uh, uh, one of them and. I'm gonna do it without audio because it's it gets a little clunky when we're trying to do this and trying to have the audio in the background and it so it's gonna have no audio but you and I are gonna talk through it so yeah. the people on people are on YouTube can watch it and hear us and the people on iTunes they'll be able to hear us talk about it so it works out good for everyone uh, yeah for the show all right so I'm gonna do a screen share. Um, I'm going to do, go ahead and do, I'm going to try doing it for just, I'm going to do entire video. I think it would be easier for me to do. All right. So this one, um, you can see it okay, Katie? Yes, I can see it. it. Okay, good. So hopefully all our viewers have seen it. Um, this was called Coco Head Stairs of Doom. Yes. So, um, <laughs> talk a little bit about this crazy thing. Um, so these stairs, um, this trail is on a, uh, I guess, a crater um, from a volcano. And um, there are railroad ties, about 1,100 of them. Wow. And... It's like, a, I don't know, I guess it's a magnet for like fitness people because we were there at like 530 and yes. there were already like probably 20 people up there at the top of the hill. Like they had finished before the sun even rose. Wow. But so maybe, it maybe was it exhausting. <laughs> oh, I bet. Cause you, you're like, <laughs> but you're, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, you're fit and this looks like 
Um, now the 300, was that like, now it says 500. Is that? Yeah, those were the, um, they numbered the steps along oh, the way, but the after a while, I, I don't even know where <laughs> I was. <laughs> and then you're pointing, we got to go all the way up to there because yeah. the, the tough yeah, part is all. This, the higher you get, I was like, well, let me take a break every 10 steps or so. <laughs> right. Um, so here you but are. But it was worth it. The view was so amazing. Yes. So here you are up at the top and. Oh my yes. gosh, look where geocaching can take you. Right. That's, inc <laughs> that's incredible, yeah. Uh, Linky Mom and I have been to Hawaii, and let me tell you, that is unbelievable. Yeah, you just, like, there's nothing like it. It's so pretty out there. So maybe that was, you just saw that box. Maybe that was the geocache that was up there. Well, I think that was a prayer box. Um, yeah, I figured it There was. weren't any more like, I guess you just had to have paper and pen. Um, but I'm sure that there was a geocache up there that I just didn't get. And I hate that <laughs> when I That's don't okay. check. We got one but, at the bottom. We'll see that here in a second. But now this is your friend um, that you went to school with. And now she lives in Hawaii or she's from Hawaii or? Uh, she lives in Hawaii. She's um, okay. she's doing her master's over there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now, and going down without turning an ankle... Oh, it, I think going down was harder than going up. Maybe not on like, like as far as your lungs and <laughs> it's right. easier, but, but very, you had to be a lot more careful going down. Yeah. Because it's not really, they aren't really steps. They're a railroad tie, you know, it's, a, it's right. A, it's a, you know, and so, and they're an awkward length apart too. Yes. And they're not all, yeah, there's dirt and uh, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You, going down, you definitely would have to be, and then you get down the end and, your friend is looking at you like, really? seriously? <laughs> so we have to go back up to get the geocache. <laughs> yes, you're so funny. Let's no. no. But then you told her there's one at the bottom near, near the Yeah, there was one at the bottom. And she said, if it's more than 500 feet, we're not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But we ended up getting it. <laughs> yeah. And this is the one we were talking about earlier about uh, uh, going to it. And oh, yeah. Going, uh, finding the the stuff in the cache. Yes. And, um, good video work. I really appreciate the, um, like you're there. I mean, I always love the, the vloggers that do it in that, in that kind of way. Or, yeah. And that's a, an ammo can. You gotta love finding ammo cans. Yeah. <laughs> finding the, here's the, you here's the glasses. <laughs> the glasses. It was awesome. Um, and then log it and then, yeah, found an ammo can. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Those are fun. And then you got some shots of. And then yeah. Yep. It was, it was fun. There is, I don't think there's many ammo cans on the Island. Well, maybe I just didn't find enough, but. On Oahu. Yeah. Yeah. There, well, I guess I was in, I was in Honolulu a lot. So I guess any larger city, you're not going to find ammo cans. <laughs> Right, right. Well, that's true. That's true. Unfortunately, we don't find as many anymore. As yeah. Many. All right, we're switching gears. Changing. Now, this is a whole other trip. This was years. Let's see. Let's see when you you published this one in uh, about a year ago. Yeah, July twenty eighth. So, talk yep. a little bit about the French Alps. Oh, that was the best trip ever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, what, uh, what brought you to this portion of, like, um, well, I think uh, a lot of it, this was on a weekend and so we had free weekends and I didn't have any school. So we went a group of us to the Alps cause I've always wanted to go and we found some cheap tickets. Uh, a train ticket and just sure. kind of went there and we got an Airbnb and we stayed and for like the weekend and just went hiking the whole time. <laughs> Very cool. So all the people yeah. with you are, on, are part of the, um, the study abroad. Yeah. And we, we had actually planned this before we left. So none of us knew each other and we, and we were just kind of thrown together, but we ended oh, up okay. being pretty good friends after this trip because <laughs> cool. it was crazy. <laughs> 
And the town looks great, but look at those views of the Alps. That is incredible. Yeah, I mean, I I just, like, I want to go back so bad. It was amazing. All right. And then uh, gondola ride. Yes. It was cloudy the whole time. You could hardly see anything. Oh, yes. But you did good on the videos, though. I mean, you can see everything. You get a real feel for um, going up. Uh, now, yeah, it was... It was amazing at this part right here when you mm -hmm. when we broke through the clouds. Yes, very cool. Um, I think I've actually been on this back when I was in high school. We went to. Uh, did you ride two different gondolas? You rode one gondola. To yes. One location? Okay. Mm -hmm. You ride one, and then and the second one takes you all the way up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. Look at that. That's a, yeah. A, I'm sorry. And there were people. We actually saw people uh, climbing. I think they were going down at that point. Oh, okay. On the, on the side of the mountain kind of thing? On Mont Blanc, yeah. Okay, yeah. Look at that. It's incredible. It's crazy. <laughs> yes. But... And cold. It was so cold. I remember it being <laughs> very cold. <laughs> very cold. Look at the views. And um, so um, where there was a geo was there a geocache at the top or where? Um, I think... There might have been a virtual geocache. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. Um. I I I think my phone I don't think was working at all, and that's what I used to geocache. So sure. we kind of just went hiking. Sure. Now, um, during this trip, um, and, and you did find some. Uh, you have some videos. Yes. Find. Did the friends that, that you went with, there you are hiking or running a little bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's, there's a, uh, okay. So yeah. So there's, oh, there's a, there it is. <laughs> yay. You did, there's one that you found up there. That's very well done. Very that well was done. the, um, the morning that we left. I think I had to run and get it really fast and then go home. <laughs> Yes. Now, did they, um, had any of the people you were with, had they um, geocached before or? Uh, they had never, I think some of them had heard about it, but they had never been geocaching. So like after dinner, we, I think we found one. Um, but a lot of them I did on my own. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. what in the world are you doing here? <laughs> so this is um we went paragliding um and we tried three or four times to do it but the weather wasn't right um it was too windy and dangerous so this was like the last chance that we could have done it and the weather was fine and you just run off a mountain right That's and incredible. it was terrifying <laughs> yes i saw some people do this in hawaii too um yeah so um just the it looks unbelievably scary but i think if you've done it and of course you were with with a, a guide so that was kind of cool. yeah that he uh, he was really cool but i remember i was wearing sandals uh-huh and he he looked at me and he said that that is not the right kind of shoe you better <laughs> tighten those up tighten them up we're about to take off and then uh, here's the, here's the last one we're going to uh, talk about. Oh yeah. Las Vegas. <laughs> so now you did Vegas after, um, after Hawaii. Yes. Okay. And you it was there? kind of a stopping point. My grandma lives there. So we try and visit her. Yes. And so you, you, uh, uh, drag mom and grandmother out into the middle of the desert. <laughs> Well, this is awesome though. Um, there's grandma. Hey, there's yeah. Grandma. Um, I, I didn't know anything about this art installation though. My grandma told me all about it and I was like, we have to go. <laughs> yes. And there's a cache out there. It worked out great. Yeah. Venomous snakes may be present in this area. Please stay on designated path. <laughs> Highly suggested. <laughs> Highly suggested. And um, there you're out there. Um, um so the yeah the art is kind of freaky for those that are it's 104 degrees i see your, your yeah phone, and my grandma would say that it it is 104 degrees on the phone but it's actually 130. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what she felt like right yeah <laughs> yeah well, it's kind of interesting how they people did um for, for audio people they're they have like um colorful rocks big 
rocks put together. Yeah. And so it, it looks. Here you All are, right, here uh, we go off the path. Off the path, <laughs> and um, grandmother's not too. Uh, she's already a little freaked out about it, but she's she's gonna make. It. So I didn't uh, add this in the video, but she kept like making the noise of a snake and trying oh, to scare me. <laughs> that's hysterical. So yeah. this is why I love here you are. Um, and then you're like pointing to here. The cash is over here. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. It's the geopat. Uh, thing. Yeah. There. So it was pretty funny. So she's still looking. Oh, she sees it now. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so once in a while you, you kind of, uh, you drag mom into your vlogs, make her film. Yeah. Okay. That works out good. So, um, very cool. So first, first, of her, uh, first one she found. So, yeah, actually, if I think about it, she, I think we did one in like 2012. Oh, okay. And she was there. It was very similar to this one. It was kind of in the middle of a desert oh, okay. by a bush, uh, but she probably doesn't remember. Probably doesn't remember. <laughs> there's a, there's the final shot there of the crazy artwork or whatever yeah it was it was cool and she's gonna be uh be um devil and throw stuff that makes it look like <laughs> that was funny yeah um, very very fun um so are you planning to do um I, I assume you're planning to do more. Do you have anything planned right now? Or are you pretty much getting ready for school, I guess, right? Um, I'm getting ready for school right now, but I think I think a lot of the videos will be me exploring Atlanta a little more in the future, I think. But now that I'm a little more north in Georgia, I'm closer to, like, the Blue Ridge Mountains. And so I think more hiking. That's what I want to do. Okay. Just hike. <laughs> yes. Because you did one, um, you have a series of, of videos we didn't show them tonight, but definitely people go out and check out the videos. You did some of um, down near near that area, right? You did yeah, Cherokee yes. area. Okay. And Gatlinburg. Yes. And um, well, it's funny. You did one in Panama City. Yeah. <laughs> What's What's funny about that is that I went to Panama City back in, I was gonna, this is going to date me, back in 1985. Uh, uh, I was in college back then. Yes. I yeah. Very old now. Of course, but, that's where college students go. <laughs> yes. Uh, I spent a summer there, uh, 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 part of a summer there, but it's changed. We drove through there um, a while back. Um, it was uh, last year. Slinky mom mm -hmm. and I drove through. We went to Pensacola for um, the Pensacola Geo Tour, and we drove back through Panama City because I wanted to show her, you know, nostalgia. I said, oh, yeah, is... like where are you? Yes, Old stomping grounds. Like, <laughs> nothing's there. It's all gone. It's all these high rise condos and all that. Yeah. Stuff, so, but. Um. So Dano has another question for you. Okay. What's your secret to keep? to keep putting out videos consistently and not giving up? Um, I think, I think the traveling really helps keep me, um, wanting to do it. Uh, cause I know sometimes like, especially now I haven't made a video in like a couple weeks. Um, like when I'm in Columbus, it just kind of like is the same thing all the time. Like I, I feel like it's kind of repetitive, but when I go out, and visit new cities and towns it just kind of inspires me to to want to make another video but um so that's why i'm excited about atlanta it's just kind of it new places and new ideas that's right i guess that's what it is i'm not sure <laughs> that's very cool yeah well now that you've done the the vlogging now for a while do you feel like that you're you kind of have gotten into this um this is something that joshua talks about and his kids are so funny too about yeah dad grabbing the camera it's like do you kind of think about like hey we're gonna go here oh wow, i'm gonna bring my camera along because we're definitely yeah of it. course yeah. so yeah um i think um sometimes i'll tell my friends i'll ask them is it okay if i bring my camera because i still want to make sure it's okay 
to record them. But um, I'm like, man, I wish I had my camera when I was here because sometimes I don't record all the geocaches I find. And sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I wish I had it. Right. Um, but yeah, I do kind of gravita gravitate towards my camera sometimes. Yeah, that's, um, I'm, I'm doing just a few. I mean, I'm mostly focused on the podcast, but I'm trying to do some. Yeah. And so, um, you know, again, it's kind of the same thing. And it, it does, like you said, it tends to be um, when Susan and I will go somewhere, I kind of think about trying to do a video. But um, I also try to do some um, of, I did one that, uh, a week or so ago, and it was cash maintenance. It was just me going around doing cash maintenance. Yeah. Which makes it tough to make it interesting to a point. <laughs> so you have to kind of uh, instill some excitement. And, um, yeah. Now, do you try to um, do you have a do you have an idea as far as length of the video? Do you try to keep it a certain length, or do you not think about it like that, or do you? Um, I like to keep them like I would like to keep them like around three minutes because I feel like people get bored of me. <laughs> but no, um, but I understand, yeah. Sometimes there's just so much that I've recorded that I just have to make them a little longer. Mm -hmm. But yeah. usually three minutes, I try and stay around there. Okay, and then. Do you um, do you do some where you like you said you, you record you basically do the whole you do like raw video footage and then you'll edit it later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, do you ever um, do you ever do uh, longer and then try to cut them into t two videos? You pretty much don't do that though, from what I've seen. Yeah. Um. I think there's been like a couple instances where. I cut them in two because it was just way too long. Like I think like hiking in Pine Mountain, there was one where I cut them into two different videos. And then like if it's a long trip like Hawaii, I, there's no way I could have put that sure. in one video. Yeah, and then um, you did a compilation, which was kind of cool. Yeah, I just, I, I kind of wanted to have that kind of as like a trailer for the, the Hawaii playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Very neat. Do you, now, um, do you try to do more of those? You think going forward, you're going to try to do more. You kind of do them in series, which I think are great. Um, yeah. Instead of random, I wouldn't say random, but I mean you, because you've done some that are just uh, random. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Do you? Um, because I always do this, and uh, I, I don't know if they like it or not, but like with Joshua or Justin, I go back and watch their very first video I can find. Yeah. Do you, do you, oh, ever, man. <laughs> do you ever go back um, and watch? Do you ever go back and watch your very first video again and go, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe I." Like, yeah. I should, I should delete this, but I don't. I, those are always fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> they are fun to watch. Well. Yeah. But you, you, you've, you've um, you were doing well on those two, so uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> you, you learn as you go what you want. Yeah, to do. you definitely do. I'm still trying to learn. I'm terrible mm -hmm. at the vlogging part, talking in the camera. I'm terrible at that. You're doing great. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I uh, well, yeah, we could go on, go on all night watching videos and all that. But we're gonna we're gonna start to wrap this up. But. Um, Keep doing them. You do. You don't have to wait for Georgia, Katie. Go out and just film randomly. Uh, it'll be a challenge <laughs> for you. Go out and do, uh, you know, like the Mission GC for August. Is, yeah, I'm going to try and do that challenge. I've been yeah. slacking on the other ones, the other yeah. months. <laughs> but but uh, I definitely want to try that out. Yeah. So um, that'll be neat. And, uh, you know, definitely yeah. keep them coming. We, we love the videos. Um, you have a lot of fans out there. So, um, you know, um, know that we're folks are out uh, watching them and enjoying them. And I like the fact that with YouTube, you can interact a lot with. So hopefully you've had some good interaction with people. Yeah, I really like I love to talk to people on like the comment section. I love to hear from everybody. Right. That is very cool. That and, um, you know, the U.S. geocaching hour is always fun. To oh, yeah. I always forget about it. But when I, I do do it, it's always fun. <laughs> I'll send you a reminder because I, I do, too. I try to I try to remember and uh, sometimes forget. But 
Um, that's tomorrow. Fine. I need to do it tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, at uh, nine o'clock your time because you're Eastern time, right? Yeah. Eastern. So, so nine o'clock your time. It'll be eight o'clock my time. So yeah, it's open to all geocaching uh, folks. So, you know, uh, uh, try to, you know, everybody who's listening or, or watching, try to remember, m make yourself a note on your phone and join in. It's, it's, when I first started doing it, it was a little crazy and I wasn't quite sure what was going on because it was going so fast, but you just kind of kind of jump in and answer yeah, questions just, and <laughs> keep on going. Just start in the middle. <laughs> right. Cause it just can be crazy, crazy. So yeah, um, it can be. <laughs> um, well, let's jump to uh, product review and then um, talk about some other things. So the product review for this week sponsored by Cashly. Uh, Cashly, the foremost geocaching app, can be found at cach.ly. Uh, and this week's is um, is one called um, Afterbite is the product that I'm uh, featuring. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of this one, Katie, but it's um, called the the Itch Eraser. Uh, and um, I really <laughs> like it. It's... Um, down here we get a lot of chiggers. I don't know what what um, I don't know which which uh, bugs you guys got up there, but uh, for us, I just got here. over a chigger infestation. <laughs> oh, did you really? Oh wow! Yeah. Yes, I got uh, attacked by them. Where were you at when that was that in uh, Pine Mountain? Okay, Georgia. So, yeah, so you're going back to the chigger area of you know the yep. south. <laughs> Tends to be, I think, south. Um, I don't know how far chiggers, I don't think chiggers are up where like Dano is in Maine, but they have more ticks yeah. up there. We don't get they a lot have of other things. They, do. they have the old, other, <laughs> other crazy stuff. Down yeah. south, we tend to get mosquitoes and chiggers are really bad. We don't get a lot of ticks though. So anyway, um, so this is a product I use and it's, it's really good. You can find it. I have the link in Amazon, but you can actually find it locally in, in uh, CVSs or, or, pharmacies and I use the the green one is for um, they have different products but I use the the green looking box but it's for mosquitoes chigger works great for chiggers just to let you know so yeah um, I definitely need to put that in my <laughs> yes it, kind of, it kills it really does whatever the product is involved in, in it um, you just rub it on and it really kind of kills the itch it really is uh, Anyway, uh, the link to that will also be, I put in the show notes. I also um, copy and paste those onto the Geocache Talk website. So if you ever miss one or if you just want to look at the product, the product reviews, um, go to, you know, go to the geocachetalk.com and you can just pull up the product reviews and look at, look at all those out there. Um, and then I have a giveaway winner uh, from show number eight. Show eight was with Johnny and Dano uh, Pugach last week, and they're giving away a path tag. And so uh, I use random.org, which is really cool for giveaways. Um, I learned that trick from uh, Mr. Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and put in the number, and you assign a number to everybody, and out spits a number, and there you go. So this week's winner is Alberta Proud. Yay. Yay! So he won <laughs> a pa path tag. So um, Alberta Proud, um, I'll send you a, a message in Twitter uh, or somewhere. Uh, that's where I usually uh, interact with him. And get your address, and I'll get your address to, to Dano, and he will send out your path tag. So, yeah, love the path tags. Mine's coming soon. Yes. So everybody that wants one, you know, um, you know, Jump on Patreon, or I'll probably do some path tag uh, trading as well with folks. But anyway, so uh, we'll talk about upcoming shows. <clears throat> uh, next, this coming Sunday, it was show number 10. I'm actually in the double digits finally. Yay! Yay, number 10. <laughs> yeah, we're at 10. Um, it's a pre recorded show, um, but I did a YouTube of it, so I'm going to uh, upload the YouTube video, and also it'll be my t typical uh, iTunes uh, upload. But it's with uh, Sarah Murphy, and Sarah Murphy, Sarah Murphy does blogging still, Katie, I know. Uh, 
get a get a feel for the bloggers out there. She's yeah. still she's still writing and doing blogs, but her blog's a really cool blog. If you've never seen, yeah, it. I've read some of them before. Have you? Okay, check out yeah. and, and the 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 link to it is the geocachingjunkie.com. And Sarah and I, Sarah, um, we had to do her show early, like we're doing yours kind of later than we kind of thought about because we're traveling, because you're traveling, we're tra we're traveling, she's mm -hmm. traveling right now, and so we actually did the show a little early because of that. She's like, uh, she's from uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland, and she was in Wales, and she's traveling through and doing, going to Europe and doing a bunch of the uh, megas, mega events that are out there going on right now. So uh, we did, we were able to do the show before she left to do the megas, and then, uh, so that was cool. And then week after that, Geoca <coughs> Geocache <coughs> Talk Show number 11, is with Chris Umfenauer, the bad cop. Um, I, I was kind of forced to do this show. Um, it'll be on eight twenty one. So, uh, no, I wasn't. I'm just kidding. Uh, Chris and I have a, a little fun with our uh, banter back and forth, but we're we're friends and uh, we have a good time talking about things like that. So, uh, he's going to the Going Ape event, which is up in Washington. Um, there used to be the second to the last Ape Cash. Uh, was uh, was up in Washington. It's gone now. There's only one left, and so Katie, I'll definitely send you a link someday. Um, we're gonna try to go to Brazil someday and hike wow. out, hike out to the to the last known ape cache. So um, a, few, a few years from now, we'll uh, we'll try to get a group together and we'll all go uh, to do that. Uh, the last of the ape caches. Well, there's still an event though, and so. Chris is going to go to the event and report back to us on uh, show number 11 on the 21st. And then the 28th is, as I mentioned before, uh, Valena Meyer, uh, Butterfly Girl, is going to be on the show. And we're going to talk about um, uh, her mega, I'm calling it her mega geo road trip because they. Mega did, geo road trip. That sounds awesome. The mega. <laughs> Geo road trip. So they did this crazy thing going out to Geo Woodstock and they did, I don't know, we'll find out on the show how many hundreds of caches and how many uh, other wow. things that were done. Amazing. <laughs> insane. It, it was. It was insane. So anyway, um, so that's it. So, well, Katie, thank you for being on the show tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you bet. It was wonderful uh, to hear about your, sh you know, your, your vlogging and your, your travels. And uh, we'll definitely um, uh, maybe get back together, have you back on the show uh, sometime, talk a little bit more about that. Maybe some more technical stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Hear about yeah. your <laughs> adventures in Georgia. Uh, yeah. About school. Uh, and how. Anyway, so we hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, email me your comments at geocachetalk at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at geocachetalk and Facebook at facebook.com slash geocachetalk. Uh, the show can be found on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, uh, Google Play now, and some other <laughs> locations, uh, as well as the Geocache Talk website. So tell your friends about the show. Ask them to subscribe so that they too can hear the show on a weekly basis. And until next week, don't just talk about geocaching. Do what Katie does and go geocaching. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>